Welcome everybody. My name is uh, Ruben Mathes. I'm a product analyst for the Gates EMEA team and I'm responsible for the uh, Gates hydraulic couplings, adapters and crimpers. And today I'm going to talk about the Design Connect uh, website and after my part, my colleague Marcus from the um, Gates uh, facility in Oiskirchen will be uh, talking about the uh, EMB Cadenas uh, system. It's a webinar all about uh, 3D drawings and models. So uh, that's basically what we're going to talk about. Then I want to discuss a bit more the Design Connect website. And as everybody knows, in the engineering world, technical drawings are very important for design and simulation of machines and systems. So the Design Connect website covers a product selection that's also featured in our Gates Fluid Power Catalog. So all our standard items that are in our Fluid Power Catalog have a drawing, a 3D model on Design Connect. So what we actually do is take a 2D model. So the Design Connect website will take a 2D model and convert it to something like we see here, a 3D model. So. This is a free service that gives everybody around the world access to a 3D library with over 3,000 drawings via the internet and providing everybody with an efficient solution, a solution for modeling hydraulic coupling systems down to the smallest detail. So all our 3D data is available in more than 20 different data formats. It's a selection that uh, ranges from IGS files to STEP files to PDFs uh, to even .prt files and so on. Uh, but of course, it's not limited to that. There are many more. And of course, as everybody knows, quick access to all of those sketch drawings speeds up the project planning phase, which is an obvious advantage for design engineers. So how does it all work? To access the website, the easiest way is to just go to our gates.com website, to our main page, and go to the Knowledge Center, press on Knowledge Center, and when you press on that, you will see here popping up engineering applications. So go to the app engineering applications. Then you will need to scroll down the page. I will give a live example afterwards. Uh, and then you just need to click on design. So there are multiple engineering uh, assets on the website, but uh, if you want to have design connect, press on design connect. Then you will see this page here and you press here the one in red, launch design connect. Press on that and then you will see this overview. We are focusing now on couplings and actually that's the only part of this page that is up to date. The other ones are a bit outdated, so I would say just focus on the couplings. And there are three, um, yeah, three options to select your correct uh, 3D model. And all those three options result in the, same, um, yeah, in the same 3D model. So it's another way of searching. So there are three ways of, three ways of searching. The first one is a quick search option. The second one is a coupling locator, and the third one is a coupling catalog. I'm only going to talk about the first two because, in my opinion, the first two are actually the easiest way to uh, search for a 3D model, while the third one is a bit more complicated. So if you have three different ways to do it, just focus on the easiest one. So the first one is a quick search. And if you press on the quick search, you will see actually an empty screen with just Design Connect on the top of it and the search bar. In the search bar, you can enter either the product number or the product description, but it's easier. I think it's easier if you just enter the product description because if the product number isn't correct, it will be harder to find it. But if you enter the description, then you can, for instance, enter HG8, so a half an inch uh, female BSP uh, coupling. And if you're not certain what needs to follow, if it has to be a straight or a 45 or a 90 degree bend, then you just leave that open, you just press enter, and then you will see here that there are a couple of um, possibilities uh, given. The other way is actually using the coupling locator. 
And this is the, the way that I prefer because it's actually a list of all the ones of all the coupling models that we have available. Uh, you will see here on the left uh, hand, you will see the product description and a product number. And then you have those drop down boxes. And the drop down boxes, there you can select your host batch size, the stem type, uh, like Megacrim, GS, or GSM, or whatever, the termination size, the termination type, so actually your thread, and then also. Uh, if it has to be a straight coupling or a banded one, so the degree of bend. And the more of those filters that you will uh, click on or more options that you will choose, actually the more accurate your search will be. So in this example here, we have selected again the 8G8 female BSP, and we have not selected the degree of bend yet, and you will see here all the different kinds of options. It's always good to check the description first and also the product number because in some cases, as you can see here, there are like two options uh, available. So check also the product number to see if you have the correct one. So maybe sometimes we are in a in a rolling change or um, yeah, we're changing the design from one revision to another. Then also our product number will change. So uh, just to make aware uh, to make sure that you have the correct uh, product. Um, yeah, selected. So once you know which one you want to take, just click on one of those blue hyperlinks here and it will direct you to the next page. And this page you will see a picture here and also here a drop down again where you can choose your uh, file format. So maybe you want to have an AutoCAD 3D file or you want to have a step file or you want maybe an IronCAD file. Um, so you can select it here. Once you have made a selection, press on download CAT, and then the program will start generating your file format. Once the, gener the generation is complete, you have either the, the possibility to drag and drop it into your CAT system automatically, or just press download the CAT model. If you press download the CAT model, it'll start downloading and it comes in your downloaded files but maybe you don't want to have that file uh, downloaded or in your CAT mo model system, but you maybe just want to see the 3D model. In that case, you can just click on view 3D model and then it will automatically generate a 3D model and that's something like you see here. Important to know is that our ferrules are not uh, separately listed in Design Connect, but they are already on the model. So all our ferrules are already pre-attached to the model and that makes modeling a lot easier because you don't need to think which ferrule do I need to use. You always have the correct ferrule at hand. So that's actually basically it what I have to tell about Design Connect. I'll just give you one or two real life examples, uh, maybe to make it a bit more understandable. Just open your web browser, you go to gates.com, you see here the Knowledge Center, click on Knowledge Center, Engineering Application, click on it. You scroll down, you see all those assets here. And then you click on Design Connect, which is all the way on, on the bottom of the screen. And you press Launch Design Connect System. Scroll down here to see the coupling parts. I select the coupling locator. And then you have the grid here with all the drop down boxes. So, in this case, I was taking a 12 size coupling, a GS1, and I want to have a jump up, so 16, and I was taking a flange. So, I see all the 12 GS16 flanges here and all the possibilities that we have. So in this case, we have a straight one, we have a 20, 22 degree band, 45, 30, 60, and so on. And you see here that there are two 90s uh, in the screen. And why is that? Because if you look here at the description, you will see that there is a 90M, which stands for medium drop, and an S for a short drop. So there are two possibilities on the 90 degree band. And also, if you want to be sure, check the product number that's next to it. So let's say I want a short drop. I press on the short drop. 
I see the screen. I can select here whatever version I want. Press it. Maybe I want this file here. I press download cat. It starts generating. So it takes a little bit of time, but not too much. And then you just press here. I don't have a cat system on my computer, so I can't do that, but I can download it. And you will see here that it starts to download. And once it's downloaded, you just click on it, and then you have the file that you want. Or in case I want to see the 3D model, I press on View 3D Model, and it will start to generate the model again. Op we'll open a new sheet. And then you see here the model, and then you can just, by pointing at it, start turning around, whatever way you want it. Maybe you want to see it like this or like that. Whatever you want to do. Also, here on the right bottom of the screen, you can maybe change it a bit to make it transparent. If you press this button here, or make it again like this. Maybe I want to have transparent so I can see through it. Maybe I've turned it a lot away around. So um, you want to go back to the starting point and you press the house and it goes to the first starting point again, but there are also some presets. So just click on it and then it will turn the way it wants. And then lastly, you can also add here like a grid where you can always see what's the bottom and what's the top. And lastly, if you want to add some shading or not. So that's basically what it does. So I'm going to stop sharing and I will have a look at the questions because I've seen that there were some questions about the cutoff length. Well, the cutoff length, you need to look at the picture that's on there. Uh, if you look at the catalog, for instance, it's always uh, you have a small drawing to it for the cutoff length and there it's explicitly stated. So you need to look. No, I'm all good. Um, okay, Marcus, if you want, you can start sharing your screen and start talking about the Cadena system. Hope everybody can hear me now and see my screen. Yeah, I see your screen and I hear you. So my name is Marcus Breinig. Uh, I'm the product manager from Gates Tube Fittings here in Neuskirchen. And um, we are the manufacturer of uh, the Gates Tube Fittings. And today I'd like to show you a short overview about our portal, which is called Cadenas um, and used for um, pr um, preparing models, which can be used uh, by CAD operators uh, all over the world. Today, um, we will start with the uh, Gates EMB homepage. So um, we have three, way, three ways to access. Uh, our parts via Cadenas. Uh, one is the Cadenas part community. Um, you can you can, can enter there um, via um, the normal web browser. Uh, you have to register there, and then you have to um, choose what parts you want to have. Uh, this Cadenas part com community includes parts from over 700. Uh, different manufacturers who have uh, their product catalogs online in this Cadenas part community. Um, you also have the chance to enter to this um, part community via an, um, via an app. So this is uh, downloadable in the Google Store or in the I iStore. Uh, it's for free uh, when you enter CAD Cadenas. Uh, you will find the app for download. Um, here you also have uh, 700 uh, manufacturers with their online catalogs uh, included. And uh, you can choose uh, the parts from this application um, and uh, send it via email or PDF document uh, to an email address or to your, uh, to your design engineer. 
Um, today, I will go a little bit deeper into the access via our homepage. Um, first, I will give a short overview in this presentation, and later on, I will give you a deeper look uh, doing this uh, online on the page. Um, so, these are the three ways where you can have, where you can have access to our parts. Um, easiest one is via our homepage. And um, this is uh, the content of today. Um, here you can see that um, uh, how our portal looks like. Yeah, uh, you have access to this via our webpage embeifel.de. Um, this will be available there until end of year. Uh, during the year, we are changing over to gates.com and you will find it in the same um, column uh, where you saw this um, uh, part from, from my colleague from Ruben and uh, in the same location uh, also uh, our uh, download portal will be available under gates.com. To start with your search, you have uh, uh, in principle, two ways to uh, get access to the part that is needed. Uh, you can enter the part description uh, by typing in, or you can choose a product category and go down deeper and deeper, uh, like uh, in a catalog. Um, both ways I will show you uh, live on the, on the monitor, and it is very simple to identify the parts and to get the right part. Uh, which is needed for your application. What we will provide is a 3D model. You can see it on the, on the right hand. In the middle, you can see a 2D uh, version. This is for the data sheet. So um, you can have a data sheet where the dimensions from the left table included with the drawing from the, from the picture in the middle uh, are together. And um, when you use uh, uh, to have a 3D model, then uh, it looks like on the right hand. When you are entering our portal uh, for the first time, uh, you have to register first. So type your email in and um, you will get an email back with, an, um, with, a, uh, with a password and then you can enter via the login. Uh, you have to do this once so that the portal knows when you um, uh, re-log in, where to send the data sheets and uh, the models. Yeah. So it's very simple. I, I will show you this also uh, during the live session on, on, the, on the screen. And what you can get out is, uh, on one hand, the 3D model. Uh, here we have about 100 uh, different data formats uh, which you can use, and you can also have the uh, uh, data sheet. This looks like on the right hand. This is a PDF document which is sent uh, to your email. Here I will switch over. Now we are in our portal on, on our uh, web page in the internet. Um, for example, uh, I uh, uh, said that we can search our products via two different ways. For example, I type in our product um, description here, and uh, by pressing enter, uh, I got a deeper view in that which part is needed. So when I need a part uh, including uh, nut and cutting ring, I can press on this and the part is shown on the page. Here I have the chance to change the size. Uh, so if uh, another thread, another pipe dimension is, uh, is needed, you can ch choose it here and the new model uh, will be generated uh, on the screen on the, on the right side uh, when you click on it. Yeah. So all these starters uh, are available. And uh, as Ruben showed in the other portal here, it's also possible uh, that you have a deeper look into the part or into the uh, model itself. You can cut it yeah, uh, 
uh, you can um, uh, have only the uh, outer lines or volume model. You can choose to a 2D model. Yeah? Here you can see this is a 2D model. And uh, when you need uh, the dimensions, you can um, generate a data sheet where this drawing with the dimensions uh, is printed out in a PDF file. So, uh, for example, um, you decide for, for this part, uh, you can click here, uh, generate the CAD model. Yeah? And um, when you press on, on download uh, and you have registered before, then this uh, part is generated. And due to your settings, which you can make here, uh, you can change uh, the format, for example, or choose another format. And you have uh, more adjustments to do if you, if you want to have uh, another view of the data sheet. So this is uh, a part you have to do once, and when when you are um, uh, when you have set your settings, and uh, you can leave this, and then you can uh, generate the CAD model, and this can be downloaded by pressing download and it's sent um, via email to your address. Another way uh, to get access to the parts is uh, via this uh, catalog. So you can uh, press on the icons and uh, to get deeper and deeper, here you see a wealth. Uh, you can change uh, the size of the wealth, the material or whatever is needed. Uh, so for example, I change to uh, another wealth. Uh, the actual part will be created. And here is the same. You can generate 2D on this part and you also can generate a 3D uh, and download it by pressing generate a CAD model or generate a PDF data sheet. So it's uh, very simple and I prefer the search uh, via this catalog here because it's uh, much easier to find the correct part which is needed uh, when you do not have our designations right on your hand. You will find these parts here much faster as we are description if it is not available from this point this is all do you have any questions here no, i just saw another question on design connect so um, if you can search by using uh, product numbers yes you can if you go to the quick search uh, bar but your product number has to be 100% correct and that's why I do not recommend it and that's why I recommend to always use uh, the description uh, because if you make a mistake when you enter the description or your description is not entirely complete you will still get some uh, yeah, things that will be proposed to you for would it be this or would it be that but if your product number is not correct then you will get nothing so I would say always use uh, the product description and as to what couplings are available in design connect it are all our couplings that are in our uh, eu catalog but also couplings that are only sold in the us so um, it's actually uh, a worldwide uh, application that are that contains both drawings for us couplings that are probably not sold in in eu but also couplings that are produced and sold in EU, but probably not available uh, for the American market or that are available on demand. Um, so it's a complete overview of everything we have, more or less. I think now I've covered all the questions. Uh, okay, I think I see no more questions. So in case there are no more questions, I would like to thank everybody for joining.